make yogurt. And even better, for those friends of ours who are lactose-free or lactose intolerant, let's make some lactose-free yogurt today. I'm gonna to show you how to do it, how to make just the right amount for those folks in your family who are lactose intolerant while the rest of you aren't, maybe. So I'm gonna show you this new um, machine that I found. This video is not sponsored. This is my opinion and my technique and my direction, my tutorial. This is my kitchen, I'm Miss Katie. This is Heritage Ways. So let's make some yogurt. It is so, so easy, y'all. What I want to show you today is a machine that I recently discovered, and ever since I discovered it, we have been using it, experimenting with it, and it is this Euro Cuisine yogurt maker. Now, like I said, this video is not sponsored. I can tell you where you can find this if you're interested, but also I'd like to know if you have and enjoy and use a, another yogurt maker. And if so, write the name of that down in the description box. Let us know so we can share the information. All right, well, I have shown you one of my more um, popular videos, one of the ones that I refer a lot of people to is our yogurt, uh, how to make yogurt in the crock pot. I have two videos here on YouTube. One little Miss Homemaker made when she was like, I don't know, six or seven years old. It's 59 seconds long. It's super uh, condensed, of course, but then I made a later one, or well, a more recent one, telling a little more detail about how to use that same method. And that's the video I just tell people to go to for easy yogurt making. And I say, if you have a wrist and you can pour, then you can make yogurt, at least that way, especially. The disadvantage of using the crock pot is it does make a gallon of yogurt. I've had the question asked to me by one, a single lady, a, a widow lady, uh, can I make a quart or half gallon? I have not tried, so I cannot answer that question. I don't see why you probably couldn't, but I'm not gonna answer that question unless until I've tried. Now, one thing I do like to do is to try things when folks ask me questions. And one of the more recent questions I got that I received when I was teaching a class at a farmer's market recently and if you're watching this, Mr. Gentleman, uh, I shout out to you for the, uh, say hello to you. But I was asked if I can use, uh, if you can use lactose-free milk in this machine, or if you can use, make it to, use it to make yogurt. Well, we're gonna find out that today. And I'm gonna tell you tips along the way about using this machine. I'm gonna tell you what types of milk you can use. All right, the question might be, why do I want to make my own yogurt? You can buy it at the store. Yes, you can. Have you seen the price of good quality yogurt lately, as well as everything else? It is very expensive. Some good quality yogurt for about 32 ounces is the price of a pound of meat sometimes. So, first of all, it is healthy for us. But you know what, it's just fun. It is fun and it's easy, especially it's fun if you have a piece of quick kitchen equipment like this um, to use. But if fun in the kitchen is not your thing, that's okay, I hear you. Uh, it's not for some folks, but what about the health benefits? Because you can do a Google search from really reputable sites and see all kinds of benefits of eating yogurt good quality yogurt, um, that it may help certain health conditions. So I'll let you Google that, but I've seen things like inflammation and chronic pain, um, arthritis, infl uh, I said inflammation already, um, blood pressure. I've seen talk about that, about how yogurt may help that. Oh, my cat. Oh, my stars. Okay, okay. Ooh, you tickled my leg. Mercy, okay. So saving money. Having fun in the kitchen, ease, it's so easy. I mean, you could have your yogurt in your crock pot or your machine, or there's other ways to make yogurt as well, faster than you can get in the car and go to the store, even if the store is right down the road like it is here where I live. So those are the reasons. Also, you want to avoid all the guar gum and the preservatives and the fillers and the sugar and the artificial flavors and colors and you want to avoid all that, and you can do that by making your own. So either head over to my um, crock pot yogurt video, which makes a gallon of yogurt, 
or we can do it here in these individual uh, cups. So let's talk about that. Um, but see, this is how, I mean, we make, this is a half gallon and we have two of these in the fridge and we have for years, um, we make a gallon a week, but as we now only have two children still at home, we don't always finish a gallon in a week. So I do make yogurt cheese. You can see a video here on YouTube about that. Um, we have Greek style yogurt. I do all kinds of things with it, but we are getting to the point now where we probably don't need a whole gallon a week. And so that's another reason why I love this little machine that I have found. So it has a lot of advantages. First of all, I like that it's PBA free. Um, so that's nice. Um, <clears throat> it is compact, you know, it's, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it is so easy. Have I said that already? Now my jars are wet because I've just washed them and so that's fine. They've been washed and sterilized. You can put them in the dishwasher. That's another plus. It does have the booklet. So the booklet is very helpful, but you might see something on this video that is may seem contradictory to the booklet, such as the amount of milk to use. Primarily, that's what's gonna be contradictory because I have done the research on the internet with this machine, but not only that, I have used this machine multiple times. So what you're, what I'm telling you is what has worked for me over and over. So you're going to need a scant five cups of milk, um, a little bit under five. If you do more than five, then these are gonna be too full and it's just gonna not work well. Um, <clears throat> you can also make flavored yogurt and this will guide you through how to do that. And another advantage is you not only have these individual servings, but you can actually make different flavors of yogurt in the uh, machine at the same time. So if you've got, you know, mom likes one kind and dad likes another kind and junior likes another kind and sis likes another kind or what have you, you can make different kinds. Now, uh, if you're thinking, well, seven's not enough because each one of these is six ounces. So if you're thinking, well, seven jars, you know, that's, that's good. That's one jar a day for one person. But I would like to make it ahead, maybe on a Sunday evening or a Saturday evening for the next week so that everybody has his or her jar to grab uh, one a day. Well, uh, you can also get extra jars, replacement jars, if you will, or additional jars. And I'm thinking about buying a batch of those because that way I'll have 14 in the fridge at one time and they are just, you know, once your yogurt is made, it just sits in the fridge like this. And to me, that's an advantage too, because when we're using that half gallon that I showed you, we're opening and closing and opening and closing and it gets crusty on the top and all that. I mean, that's okay, we can deal with that. But this is just a grab and go and nobody's been opening and closing it all week. And, you know, if you're one of those that grab, needs something to go uh, maybe for lunch or grab it in the mornings, then I think that's perfect. My Little Miss Homemaker likes that um, idea to be able to have her own that she grabs and takes with her. So you can buy the extra ones. There are ways to uh, make flavored yogurt. In fact, the little picture on here shows you two different flavors at one time. So that, that will guide you through it. You can use, I've used raw milk, I've used uh, store-bought milk, and today we're going to use um, lactose-free milk. Now I'll go ahead and tell you that I know this works because I used, the other day, I used, um, it's a Dollar General brand in Clover Valley, I think, and it's a lactose-free. Today I bought this, I've never bought this before, but I bought this to show you because I know a lot of people out there drink this, Fair Life, lactose-free, ultra-filtered milk. It is 2% but because that's all they had. But if they had had whole, I would have gotten that. But that's okay. So we're going to use this 2%. And that's another thing. I mean, you can make yogurt even out of skim milk, but I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, but, you know, you can experiment with that. So today we're going to... Um, use the lactose free and then I'll show you how to fill the machine and plug it in and push the button. All right, just for your basic yogurt, nothing is uh, flavored or anything like that. We're going to put five, like I said, a scant five cups. So just do four cups and then a little bit under one more.
And then we're just going to turn this on. Now, this is really the most <laughs> time consuming part and the most difficult. And it's not even difficult. So you're just going to get a spoon. Let's get something to stir. Now I'm just stirring so that I, the bottom doesn't scorch and I'm not stirring constantly. And then I'm gonna just hang out. It actually doesn't take long. So see right now it's at 56 degrees because it's just got it out of the fridge a few minutes ago. And you want it to 180, 180. And a little bit over medium heat on my gas stove is what I have. So I'm gonna go do something and I'll come back in a second and check it again. I wanted to mention while my milk is heating up here that I did get my, um, this, this amazing large Dutch oven as well as the yogurt maker machine from Layman's and then the Thermopen or Thermoworks rather is where I got the Thermopen. So I'll just put those links down below in the description box. And if you're interested, you can check those out. All right, we have reached 180. Actually, it's 181, I think. <laughs> so now the next step is to let it cool to 95 degrees. Honestly, you can let it sit here and cool. Uh, you can put it in a sink with cold water surrounding it, like a, a water bath, a, an ice bath. So you can do either one. Uh, use some, I do both. So today I'm gonna to let it sit here and naturally cool 95 degrees because I'm working on something else today at the same time. I have 96, 97. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out, I love this thermometer. I'm gonna go ahead and take out some milk, no particular amount. I mean, you can call it a cup if you want, but there, that's two thirds of a cup. And then I'm gonna add a third a cup of uh, yogurt and this is a starter every um, batch of yogurt no matter what method you use needs um, three ingredients three components milk a starter and an incubator and um, so we have our milk and we've just added our starter and our incubator is the machine today so I'm just going to mix this together to kind of uh, not really temper the yogurt, but just get that kind of mixed up into that hot milk. And then we're gonna pour this back into our, the rest of the milk. And I'm just gonna, you can use a whisk for this if you want. And just stir this all together. And this, what appears to be just milk, just completely thin, is going to turn into our yogurt in a few hours. All right, now at this point, all you're doing is just, you're gonna put your yogurt <clears throat> into these cups. And just fill it, uh oh, I spilled it. Well, I can wipe it. So you're just gonna get all this milk put in the jars. If you have questions about what I'm doing or this machine or anything, I'll try to answer every question I can in the comments. All right, we have just the right amount of milk with our scant five cups and the third a cup of yogurt that we've added. And honestly, all you do now is put this lid on the machine. You do not use these lids. These are only for storage. Do not use these lids. Now, the other, the last batch of lactose-free I made uh, was whole milk, and so I did use, um, I, I set it for eight hours. And that's what I also use for any other whole milk that I have. But as you have less fat in your milk, and you head towards skim milk direction, you're going to, um, it's gonna take a few more a little bit more time, a few more hours. For example, it's gonna be 10 hours if you have skim milk. So since we have whole milk is eight hours and our skim milk, if we were using that would be 10, let's go with nine hours on this 2%. So honestly, we just plug this in, put it somewhere where it's going to sit undisturbed 
for the next um, eight to 10 hours. And then you're gonna turn the dial and I'm gonna turn it to nine because we are using the 2% and you push the button. You walk away, you come back when it beeps, the time will be up and it will beep and let you know that it's ready. It's been eight hours with uh, our milk in the uh, yogurt maker. And I just take the lid off and you have yogurt. <laughs> and this batch was so thick. Look, I could turn it upside down. Now this needs to go in the refrigerator to cool, but look at that. It looks delicious and smooth. But look at that, smooth, perfect yogurt. Now remember, if you are lactose intolerant, you need lactose-free products, make sure that you're using a lactose-free yogurt as your starter, or, um, you know, I'll be using, um, I don't know a lot about lactose intolerant uh, diets, but I'll, I'll be using this, or you could use this starter for your next batch. So this is gonna have a little bit of lactose in it. I'm not sure how that works, so maybe somebody can let us know in the comments. Um, but this starter was not lactose um, free, so it is gonna have a little bit in it. So y'all make your own judgment on that, but I'd say this is a success, and I know that I have used this with raw milk and with uh, pasteurized store milk, so you can pretty much use this machine with any type of milk with success. All right, so you're gonna just wanna make sure that you put your tops on and you're gonna just set it in the refrigerator. I hope this gives you yet another idea of how you can make yogurt at home. But I'll also, um, of course, down in the description box, I'll tag my previous yogurt in the crock pot video and then here in the I cards. I'd love to know if this video was helpful or interesting. And also, if you make yogurt, do you make yogurt at home? Because we talked about why we could or should, and I'd be interested to know your thoughts. So I hope you're counting your blessings, and I'll see you next time. Let's make some lactose intolerant. <laughs> Let's... No, stop, Cat. You're moving the tripod. Seriously, it's not a scratching post. Stop. You're going to need to stop. Go somewhere. Uh, mm. Okay, you're going to need to go, and I don't want to touch you because I've already washed my hands. Thank you.